Hello, this is Michaela, or Studio Sanctibus. I'm here today doing the August 2016 UK Glossy Box unboxing. This should be the Glossy Box's birthday, sort of a limited edition one. And this is the box where they sent us an email to pick one of our items inside, which was the colour set for our MUA palette. So, this is the box as it's arrived. I'm just going to get in and open it up. And here is the box. It's actually mostly a lot like the normal design. We have this pink matte finish box. But we have these stripes. We've got glossy box. It is with ray feather and glossy box and this quite fetching nice pale grey colour that goes very nicely with the pink. I don't know how well the lighting is being picked up there. And the box feels nice and clunky and satisfying. Inside there's the same nice grey colour. On top we have our letter which I will get into and then we have our nicely wrapped up pink with the grey ribbon. And our sticker from Glossy Box this month is grey instead of black. And there is the box contents inside there. Some very interesting looking items. But first off, I'm going to get into the newsletter. So here we go. Dear Glossies, we are five years old this month and we're kicking off our birthday celebrations with a collector's edition fifth birthday design in collaboration with of the moment Lux accessory label Ray Feather. As always, you'll find your box filled with five glossy grates that no beauty obsessive should be without, including an exclusive GB monogram pouchette from Ray Feather. We've de we're dedicated to making the upcoming year the best yet. Next month sees Red Magazine's beauty ex uh, expert beauty team personally editing your monthly box and there's more exciting news to come. Here's to another great year discovering the best that the beauty world has to offer. Evie Leatham, editorial director, etc, etc. So we have four beauty items and one that is the bag underneath. So I'll get into the, I think I'll do the VD items first on the back of the card and then I'll do the, the little pouchette. So first off at the top here is our MUA eyeshadow palette. Here it is. And this is eyeshadow palette. We gave you the chance to choose your favorite eyeshadow palette from MUA's four bestsellers. Each one is highly pigmented, offering 12 on-trend eye colors that you can mix, mix, match, and blend in numerous ways to create any look you want. If you missed the opportunity to pick your palette, don't worry, we have chosen one for you. Enjoy. The RRP of these are four pound. I actually already have quite a few MUA palettes. I think I have four. I actually already have one of the ones that was going to be one of the choices you could pick. It was the Heaven and Earth one, I think. But this time I decided to go for Glitter Ball, which is the one I picked which I thought was one of the more unusual ones. It has lots of interesting pastel tones and less usual for MUA and palette tones because a lot of the MUA ones are the sort of neutrals and browns and smoky palette knockoffs, which are very nice and to a certain extent are a little safe. So I wanted to go for something that was less safe and more interesting and um, not something I sort of already have. So these palettes come with a little safety seals on the clasp, just there. So you know whether or not it's been opened. I'll just pull mine off and open it up. There we go. So for your four pound, you get 12. For your four pound, you get 12 eyeshadows in these pans. The total weight is 9.6 grams and I think this looks quite nice. There's a dark black sparkly one, a pink, an orange, a gold, a green, a sort of a grey pink, a blue, a very nice dark sort of warm bronzy colour, another more bluey green, two sort of very lavendery colours and a nice sparkly silver there. So this is a nice collection of more unusual bright and sparkly eyeshadows. I think those look very nice. 
uh, and you do get this little uh, blending tool which I tend to never really use for eyeshadow I use other eyeshadow brushes but I definitely think for four pounds these palettes from MUA are actually really really good value for money so next up we have a mud mask which is this one here and this is the there we go this is Mud Masky's Facial Detox Purifying Recovery Mask. One of the first pH balanced facial treatments. This is one almighty mask. It's formulated using all natural ingredients and contains no parabens, but still manages to thoroughly detoxify skin. It doesn't stop there though. It also refines and tightens pores, hydrates, brightens and smooths skin and generally gives it a boost. This mask really does do it all. Use it once a week for a healthy glow and a detoxified finish. On the little sheet here, this mask does not have a full size sticker next to it. So this will be a deluxe sample size. It is still a nice size. It's not like it's a single sachet, but this is definitely not full size then. And I will have a price breakdown in the corner there. So this is 20 milliliters in size and yes it says it's the mud masky facial detox purifying recovery mask it's pore refining hydrating anti-aging brightening smoothing etc and it has the usual instructions so wash apply a layer leave for 10 minutes there should be a slight tight and tingling sensation and remove mask with cold water use once or twice a week and it contains moroccan lava clay and I suspect all of the usual types of ingredients you would see in a mud sort of clay mask. I would, I'm looking forward to using this. I really love face masks. I really like when we get face masks from Glossy Box. They're usually interesting and ones that I haven't tried before. So I'm glad to have that. Uh, next up is another Spa To You product. So we all just had the um, Spa to You Conjac Sponge recently. So this is the Spa to You Deep Pore Facial Cleansing Brush. Uh, first there, were, there was cleansing balm, then oil, and now we're introducing you to the cleansing brush, which pros in the know have been using for years. The soft bristles are specially designed to help buff away dead skin cells for a deep but gentle cleanse. The combination of silky soft brush bristles and silicone cushions also help to massage the skin to improve microcirculation for renewed radiance wet the brush and use it with your normal cleanser. This is full size, standard size, one size, and its RRP is $6.99. Uh, I thought the Spa to You sponge last time was all right. I think for me, it wasn't quite doing enough to warrant me say wanting more. I said that in my catch up, but here we go. So this is the brush here. It's got a nice long sort of ergonomic -y style handle and it does come with a little lid. I think this is just to sort of keep this up off like a sink surface. And yes, it has these bristles, which are soft, but not actually super soft. And then, yeah, you can see inside there are sort of these silicone nubs, which are going to give your face a bit of a massage. I actually already have a um, manual facial cleansing brush. I use the Boots Botanics one, which I really like. Not just because it's a manual cleansing brush, I like the Botanics line in that they are all sort of natural and FSCE uh, sort of materials that they use, so you know it's uh, at least a bit more eco-friendly. I think I would say that one does definitely have a softer head than this, this feels more plasticky. I will probably still give this a go, this definitely has a smaller head, so that might be good in that it's more targeted. But I do admittedly tend to find with my Botanics one that the um, it doesn't particularly feel like it gets in like sort of around the nose area. So this might be better for that, this might be sort of more targeted and more good in that instance, but I will have to see how it goes. This has sort of little clippy bits, there we go, it clips on because it's got little nubs. But there we go, that's a manual facial cleansing brush from Spa to You. I would definitely recommend people give them a go, I use one, I really like it. And I will be giving this one a go I suppose and seeing how it compares to the Boots Botanics one that I already use. So there we go, that was the full size Sparty cleansing brush for $6.99. The next beauty item we have, 
is another deluxe sort of sample size one and this is from Cowshed which is a brand that I have heard of before but never one that I've actually used. I know it's supposed to be really good. And this is the Cowshed Wild Cow Invigorating Body Lotion. Uh, as well as giving you an energy buzz with its boosting blend of lemongrass, ginger and rosemary, this Lux Body Lotion deeply moisturizes skin with shea and cocoa butters. Made in England using natural ingredients, it is packed full of skin-loving essential oils and has a light, uplifting oriental fragrance. Apply liberally all over the body and massage into skin using circular motions to increase circulation. And yes, like I said, this is a deluxe sample. It doesn't say full size on the picture there. You get 30 milliliters. The full size it says is 20 pound, but I'll have the price breakdown up there. And yes, I've heard lots of good things about Cowshed, that they use really good ingredients, that they smell lovely. Mmm, which it does. It's kind of like a naturally lemony, sort of almost desserty, but not in that overpowering, sweet, artificial way. That smells delicious. Let's see if I can get some out of here. It looks really thick, actually. There we go. That'll do. Uh, oh, I was going to say, not safety sealed or anything. I should have checked if the mud mask one is as well. The mud mask one does come with a nice silver safety seal. So there is the cowshed body lotion there. And yes, it's a really nice, thick moisturizing cream. It doesn't feel particularly watery either. It definitely feels very rich. Mm. And the, the smell sort of gets stronger actually as you put it on, like it's sort of dispersing the scent. And that smells delicious. It kind of reminds me a little actually of Lemony Flutter from Lush. It has that lovely sort of fresh but very lemony and very nice and natural scent. That's delicious, that smells really lovely. But there we go, that's the Cowshed Body Lotion. I will be giving that a go. That looks really nice, it's a nice sample. And then the last item we have in here, yes, is our, our item from Ray Feather, the Lux Accessory brand. And this is the Mini Monogram Pouchette. Fashion bloggers and celebrities alike are obsessed with Ray Feather's luxury accessory. The monogrammed palm straw clutches, totes and baskets have graced the arms of Poppy Delavinge and Louise Redknapp and were spotted on the beach with Colleen Rooney to name a few. Uh, join the jet set with this mini monogram pouch set, which has been exclusively designed for Glossy Box by Ray Feather to celebrate our birthday. It's perfectly proportioned for stashing all your makeup essentials and this is RRP £20. And we also have a code there, which is our only code. And this is 10% off any orders at Ray Feather using the code FIRST10. So I think this is more of an item if you are interested in sort of celebrity brands that they like. I'm not particularly bothered. It's just a little makeup pouch. It's nice enough. It has this very sort of shabby chick, rough, retro, rough sort of feel on the outside. And inside it is actually nice and lined, which is something. It's not sort of rough and open inside. Uh, and I do occasionally have use of the little um, makeup pouches. We got one ages ago with our Viva La France box. And I actually did use that to take a small set of makeup to uh, someone's wedding. So it did come in useful. I, I don't think they're items that you need every day, but we don't get them every box. Uh, so yeah, it's a little pouchette. And I think I even said with that box, it would have been nice if it was five beauty items and an accessory, but it's not terrible. I suppose some people probably won't be impressed, I suspect. I'm not terribly bothered, to be honest. There we go, pouchette. So that was the box contents. We had the pouchette, brush, two deluxe samples of lotion and mud mask and our palette that we got to pick for ourselves. It's a nice little selection. Uh, and I'm just gonna go away and tot up how much that was worth and how much these sort of deluxe samples are worth proportionately to full size, because both of these aren't full size. And I'll be back in just a second. 
Okay, and we're back. So I've worked out how much the box is worth in total. But first off, I'll just cover these two little minis. So the mud mask is actually quite expensive. Full size is only 60 milliliters and that is worth 53 pound. So this uh, deluxe sample, which is 20 milliliters, is actually only a third of the full size. So that's actually a pretty generous sample and it makes this worth 17 pounds 66 even as sort of a part of the full size so actually quite expensive for a face mask uh, and then the cow shed item is a bit more of a budget item it's the cheapest item in the box proportionately i think and full size you actually get 300 milliliters so it's a nice big size full size for 20 pound but it makes this 30 milliliter sample worth two pound so that's a nice little budget sample of a quite nice, much bigger, much more expensive item, which does actually seem lovely. Uh, so overall, with all of the items, the box is worth £50.65, which is a nice healthy value. But I would say, if you're genuinely not into the pouch yet, if you're not considering that a part of the value of the box, because admittedly, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, at £20, I wouldn't buy this. I don't care who it's by, which I don't know if that seems mean, but I don't need a £20 makeup pouch that's pink and says GB on the front. But the saying that, all that would mean is that you could consider the value of this box to be £30.65, which is still a nice value to get. It's still more than twice the amount you pay for the subscription of the box. And I actually really like the all of the other items. These four items, the brush, the palette, and the two samples. I am definitely going to use these up. And I think I will enjoy all of them, to be honest. Uh, the pouch, it's just a pouch. I'm really not fussed by it. So there we go, that was our box this month. Two lovely deluxe samples, a palette, the brush, and the uh, little pouchette. And we also have a sneak peek for next month's box. Here we go, so our September sneak peek. Next month we are giving your lashes all they could desire. With the collagen fueled formula and hourglass shaped brush, two fists, better than sex mascara, coats, conditions, defines and stretch stretches lashes beyond belief. It's so good, it has a cult following. So there we go. We're, gonna, we're going to be getting to try the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And by the looks of it, just going off that picture, that is going to be a deluxe sample. That doesn't look like the packaging for the full-size mascara. But still, as I said, I have definitely... I have definitely heard people rave about that mascara, and it isn't a mascara I've tried, so I'm looking forward to that. So there we go, that was the August 2016 UK Glossy Box. Glossy Box's fifth birthday, so happy birthday to Glossy Box. And I'll see you again next time. Four or five days, I didn't like how dark my face was and compared to the rest of me. This wouldn't be... <laughs> Hello again, and we're back playing Simon Max 201 Ice Station